Hello YouTube, today I need to get in your intro by the way because that's really getting on my nerves, I've said it way 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 too often but uh, today I'm going to start a new series again um, the reason that I'm having to start a new one is because of mod instability basically so I've gone with for this one basically some of the most used mods that there are so there are no stability problems and hopefully so they'll be updated fairly quickly after point 24 comes out as well so the reason I stopped the last series, or haven't done an episode of the last series, I've not sort of announced that I've stopped it, but I have, um, is that mods have been unstable, there's been just things happening that shouldn't have been happening. So I decided that, um, you know, if I'm going to do a modded series, I'm going to have to make sure that the mods are stable first. And I've done quite a bit of testing, at least in sandbox mode, with this mod configuration. And these mods are ones which don't really, aren't known to have any problems at the moment, apart from Remote Tech 2. And there is a sort of patch for that, in a sense. And that will probably also be patched when point twenty four comes out, because the developer of it has announced that. So just so you know, the mods that I'm using are Ferrum Aerospace, Deadly Reentry, uh, remote tech 2. I'm also using um, the tech, uh, sorry, the visual enhancements, but only the cloud parks. I don't really like the city lights, I don't think they look too good. And um, there's a couple of other mods thrown in there KW Rocketry, Infernal Robotics, so that I can build some cool stuff. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. There might be a couple more things that I've forgotten, but if they are, there's nothing major. Um, not actually installed them yet, but there are a couple of mods which just fix the fact that there's no interiors for a couple of the cockpits, the MK2 and MK3 cockpits. But anyway, here's the first rocket I built, the SR1, Simple Rocket 1, and uh, basically it didn't go too well at launch. Um, I forgot I had Ferrum Aerospace installed, or I hadn't, because I haven't used Ferrum in quite a while. I forgot that you can't turn too much, otherwise the plane will essentially well, not plane, but the rocket will essentially stall like a plane does, which basically means it turns so much that the air, instead of going along the rocket, starts to try and hit the side and spin the rocket round. And that's what happened there, uh, although I was high enough up that it was fairly easy to recover from, so it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, the aim of this was just to get into space, uh, get reasonably high up into space and get some science to unlock maybe a node or two on the tech tree, which is what we did in the end, and that's fairly good. So uh, while while this is going on, I'd like to talk a little bit about the um, the new patch that's about to come out because I did do a very very brief overview of what's going to be in that, but I'd like to talk a bit about the other stuff that's going to be in it as well, um, at least from what I've heard. So they're adding a whole load of new parts that I, uh, they've collaborated with NASA to make. I guess you know, I uh, presume they're loosely based off some NASA engines and things. But basically, there's a couple of new engines and their site. They're sort of um, a wider diameter, I think it's 3.75 meters in diameter, so they're quite a bit wider um, and that's going to allow for pushing of asteroids mainly because that's one of the other big things. Um, but it's also going to mean that you can go further basically because obviously with that extra size they also have extra power and yeah they look actually really really useful. So obviously as I just mentioned the other thing is asteroids. Now the asteroids are basically going to work in a way where they don't actually exist, they can't change the game unless you track them in the tracking station and that will then make them a real object which you can then go and try and intercept, try and land on. And I think that's the best way to do it because it means that people who don't want to have to deal with asteroids don't have to, but people who do want to go out and find an asteroid to land on can quite easily go and do that. So I think that was a really quite a good design decision there and uh, very well done from the by the KSP devs. Um, so anyway, you can see I'm just trying to bring it uh, so that we're at our apoapsis now. I'm trying to make it so that um, we do come down over some land. I've done some science already up here, so we should have enough science to unlock a couple of nodes on the tech tree. Maybe get the first engines, um, first you know the first other engines or some I don't know some wing tips or something. So they're pretty basic, the stuff that you get at the start of the tech tree, but it should be interesting. So that's what I've been aiming for from this mission, basically nothing too big. But uh, yeah, there's um, a couple more things that are in the update. They've added um, on a lot of the parts now. Uh, there's also going to be space for flags, which is where I made that video um, asking if you want to put make your own flags to put to submit to me. And I've got a video on my channel. You can go and have a look, uh, which I just put up. And uh, yeah, that will be cool, I guess, if we have a flag that you guys have made on, on all my rockets from now on. So, you know, if you're interested in making a flag, go over and have a look at that video. 
but uh, yeah they've added the sort of space on parts for flags to be applied which is really useful and well I mean, it's not really useful but it's really kind of cool in a sense and it's a way of making sure people know it's your rocket rather than somebody else's so I think it's quite a good change and um, they've also added a couple more parts they've added a claw so you can grab into asteroids they added um, the lights that you have all of the lights that we had before can now have the color changed with just RGB sliders so you can change the color to pretty much anything um, and there's a, there's a few other changes as well and um, they've done a lot of changes to the maneuver node system um, and I'll show those off when the update actually gets released because obviously that's um, then I'm going to actually have to have a proper go at playing with them um, so those look really good and uh, very interesting but apart from that, um, yeah, we're coming down now. I'm trying not to deploy the parachutes too early because I'd like to make sure we come down as slowly as possible and don't rip the craft apart, although it does end up breaking a little bit in the end. But uh, I wanted to try and keep as much of it intact as I could. And here we go. So there's the parachutes deployed. And at the end, I just try and burn up a little bit just to, you know, make the touchdown as soft as I can. But yeah, that's... Um, basically the flight that we did today just to try and get up into orbit get some science and get most of all uh, get make sure all the mods are working in career mode as well which they seem to be because after this the tech tree was showing up some stuff from KW rocketry which if you don't know is a parts pack that has a whole load of um, new engines and fuel tanks and things but here we go um, so that did you know flop a little bit at the end there but after we recovered it we did get some good science as you can see here 21 science from that mission which is pretty decent for just going into low carbon orbit or not even into orbit and uh, with that we managed to unlock the first node which is just some very very basic stuff and then that node there um, which gave us just some extra parts a couple of la little landing legs that kind of thing but we could have had some other things but we didn't quite have enough science so we'll see where we can get in the next episode but anyway as always thanks for watching guys and have a nice day